you have the EU chief Ursula von der who arrived in Kyiv today to mark the symbolic Europe Day celebration of peace and unity as Ukraine delivered a retort to Moscow's Victory Day parade. Now, the Ukrainian president Vladimir Zelensky signed a decree declaring May 9th as Europe Day in line with the European Union. In an announcement made on Monday, Zelensky said May 8th would officially be day of remembrance and victory as marked in many countries around the world. Zelensky also announced that he had submitted a bill to the parliament to formally commemorate World War II in Ukraine on the 8th of May and then celebrate Europe Day on the 9th of May. Ukraine's president also vowed that evil Russia will be defeated just like Nazi Germany was beaten in World War II. The president will be in Kyiv, Ukraine, where she will meet President Volodymyr Zelensky and reaffirm the EU's unwavering support towards the country. As you will, of course, have noticed, this, will, this visit will take place on Europe Day. In this context, we warmly welcome the announcement by President Zelensky that the 9th of May will from now on also be celebrated as Europe Day in Ukraine. Сьогодні я подав до Верховної Ради України законопроект, яким Today I am submitting a bill to the Верховна Рада of Ukraine proposing that May 8 be the day of remembrance and victory over Nazism in the Second World War of 1939-1945. We will never forget the contribution of the Ukrainian people to the victory over Nazism and we will not allow anyone to erase the role of Ukrainians in this victory, our people that generation whose memory we cherish in almost every family. Remembering the heroism of millions of Ukrainians in that war against Nazism, we see the same heroism in the actions of our soldiers now. The descendants of those who secured the victory, the surrender of Nazism that day on May 8, 1945. And we are proud of the heroism of the Ukrainian people, then and now. Unfortunately, evil has returned. Like back then, evil rushed to our cities and villages, so it is doing now. Like back then, it killed our people, so it is doing it now. Although, now it is another aggressor. The goal is the same, enslavement or destruction. And like in the Second World War, we are not alone against evil. We fight against it together in the same way together with the entire free world. We fought then and we fight now so that no one ever again enslaves other nations or destroys other countries. And all those old evils that modern Russia is bringing back will be defeated just as Nazism was defeated. Now as 80 years ago, Ukraine is fighting against total evil. Now, just like 80 years ago, Ukraine is fighting for the future its own and that of the whole of Europe, the whole free world. Now, as 80 years ago, we rely on the common strength of free nations and know that together with them, we will always be part of a free Europe that will not submit to evil. And together with all of free Europe, we will celebrate Europe Day on May 9th in Ukraine. A united Europe, the basis of which should be and will be peace. Our Europe, which Ukraine has always been, is and will be a part of. Today, I signed the relevant decree, and every year from tomorrow, May 9th, we will commemorate our historic unity, the unity of all Europeans who destroyed Nazism and will defeat Russism.